what's happening guys how are you doing welcome to my channel today we've got a shoe <clears throat> bigger pardon today we've got a shoe reveal this is my own personal pair it's got this a nine and a half i think i've worn once only once these are the yeezy 380 mist these are the you know the different silhouette compared to the 350 the ones that care which people are quite sure about but i merely bought this shoe purely based on the price and i think it's a very comfortable shoe as well and i think it's that design which people will get used to it's not banged as uh, the 350s. I, th I still think that's one of the favorite silhouettes that Kanye West made. And uh, yeah, so guys, I'm gonna flip the camera around in a couple of minutes. So this shoe, actually uh, brand new, if you buy it on StockX, it's I think about 200 pounds or 210, including um, the uh, additions of the, uh, you know, postage and other expenses. However, I managed to get this for 105 pounds, for like a nine and a half out of 10, really. It's only just been worn once, it's still got the tags. I think it's a very good bargain. And I know why I bought this shoe because of what I'm going to wear in the future. I've bought quite a few essential items and I feel like essential and cold laundry match with this style of shoe. It's got a lot of earthy colors to it. So that's why I actually bought this shoe. So I'm going to stop wrapping and talking quite a lot and just flip the camera around in three, two, one, go. Right guys, <laughs> let me just take that mouse away. I've been doing my schoolwork. So we've got these um, shoes over here. So these shoes are quite uh, quite a sight to take in, especially for somebody who was used to the 350 silhouette. Now, as I said, I've only bought these shoes because of the price. The price is ridiculous. It's a nine and a half. Well, I'll probably give you like, a, it's not brand new, but almost brand new. They're like nine and a half out of 10. And they've still got the, I think they just won once for, I don't know, some pictures or whatever they took. It's still got the original stick, uh, original tags there. So yes, let's start guys. So we'll start with the side profile. So it's quite different. It's raised on the back. So it's quite like a very tall shoe. Um, it covers your feet almost up to your ankles. It's almost like, a, I'd say it's a mid. If we were to compare the mid Jordans to these, they'll probably be a similar height. And so we'll start with the side profile. So you get, um, this uh camia green what would you call that color though i don't know man it's sort of like a gray it's like a gray so you get gray then you get some sort of like military green there and then you get the middle strip over here which has got perforated holes ignore the mess there and so you get the hill which is quite thick let's see the bottom of the hill so you get that design for the heel so that's pretty pretty dope and it's a very different shoe might I add, it's very different. It's very comfortable. I'm using a lot of very. I sound like a, a middle-aged mom. <laughs> Let me stop. So let's start with the front. So uh, unlike the 350s, I'm gonna use the 350s as a reference, as a point of reference, because that's what I'm used to. This is my first time holding these shoes, so that'll be the reason why. So this is not really like a stitch like the 350s. This is a much better job that's been done there. So you get the blush. It's like an earthy sort of blush color on the sides, as well as on the ins. Well, the inside is a bit of a different color, isn't it? It's a great color, it's a bit different. And so you get that, and then on the front, I like the front because the heel, or should I say the sole actually, it bulges out as well. So it makes the shoe very sporty. It gives it like a sort of a stance, you know, a nice stance as well. So what I'm actually more interested in is the heel itself because we're trying to see how far ultra boost has evolved over time so let's just push that away what do you guys think would you buy this i mean for the price that i got these if you want to buy these on StockX like uh ds they'll cost you 200 pounds but i managed to get this for 105 pounds shout out to the plug he's a good guy we always do business together and let's see the inside of it so the inside says yeezys and you've got a lot of padding as you can see in the back there that padding is good for that. Come on, come back, come back, come back, come back, GoPro. Go. This uh, gimbal is actually embarrassing me right now. This is the most clumsiest video I've ever done. But yes, as I was saying, guys, so um, it's a very comfortable shoe. I think it's a shoe that you can actually use for running. I've seen people like use 350s to run, and this is one of those shoes that you can actually use for running. But me personally, I'm getting quite a few essential by fear of God stuff. So the color scheme goes together, and I'm also getting a few called laundry items so i actually got this shoe specifically for that so i will not wear these shoes every single day i wear them on 
certain occasions where I wear um, clothing which matches the color of this. So that's why I actually got this uh, this shoe. It's um, yeah, it's a very comfortable shoe and it's a Yeezy, so you know it's a uh, it's not worn by everyone else. Quite a few people are gonna wear them, so that's why I like it as well. At the same time, it's got that exclusivity, and as far as the materials themselves, the materials do feel quite quite thin. So in winter, you're probably gonna struggle to wear this shoe. I'd say like wear a Nike Air Force One or that sort of shoe. This is more of a summertime spring shoe as well. So unless you're gonna wear thick socks, but if you drive, you know, hey, no biggie, you know. And uh, also, I like the uh, the sock material around the mouth of your of your feet. That's quite a nice little touch as well. So it's not gonna, you know, sometimes you get shoes or trainers that actually hurt you around your ankle. So that's a nice little touch. So this shoe is mainly uh, all about comfort. And I know it's a new design as well. And we're seeing quite a lot of brands being bold about the design. Nike has also got that boldness nowadays. So a lot of brands are actually playing around with the design language to see what's, you know, what's going to sell. And as much as we've uh, slated this shoe or this silhouette, but I think it's going to get popular in the future because we are moving in the future. And this is what's going to be, you know, um, the language by these sh uh, shoe companies. So if I was to rate this, I think, um, out of 10 based on the design and everything else, I'd probably give this um, a six and a half out of 10. Which is, I think, fair, you know, 6 to 5 out of 10. If it was a different color scheme, I'd probably say, yes, I'll give it a 7. But I'd probably say my favorite Yeezy is the Yeezy, the Quantums. That's my favorite shoes and the 350s after. So, but at the same time, I think it's the ones that I own. The ones that I don't own, I'd say is my favorite is probably the uh, the Red Octopus. But yes, guys, don't want to waffle on. Just want to say thank you once again for supporting me. And without any further ado, please uh, click the subscribe button and see you guys next time.